Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and in this video, I want to teach you how you can use the chat GPT API. It's actually pretty simple. So I'm going to start from nothing here. You can see I have VS code open is totally empty. I just opened, created a folder called chat GPT API. You can call it whatever you want and it's empty. First thing I want you to do is open a new terminal here. You can click terminal at the top, new terminal, and you will have it down here. So we're going to create a node project. So NPN in it, I'm going to do dash Y so we can skip the whole project name thing and all that stuff. And it will create a package JSON for us. Cool. Very simple. We're going to add a couple things before we start to this package JSON. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, add type and it's going to be module. All right. And I'm going to explain later why and the other thing that we're going to add is here on the script. So I'm going to add a def script and, and this is going to run node and whatever name of the JavaScript file that you're going to create. Um, I'm going to create index.js. So that's an example. Great. So after that's done, um, we need to install two packages, the open AI package and .env package. So I'm going to do uh, npn i .env and open AI. I'm going to press enter. All right. And now you can see we have the two dependencies of .env and open AI. Perfect. This is all we need for now. Okay. So now we have uh, node modules, which is perfect. Now we can use all that. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it index.js. Now this can be whatever you want. Doesn't have to be the index.js, but because that's the one that I put here in my uh, script, that's the one that I'm going to use. Right. So I'm going to go to my index.js. And all I'm going to do right now is go to the open AI documentation to see how we can implement, how we can use this API. So I'm going to open it. All right. So this is the documentation. There's a lot of information. I'm going to put the link in the description of the video so you can go right here. And uh, you can see they give you code examples. They literally give you the code examples that you can just copy and paste your code and start using the API. All right. So I'm going to do just that. This one is very, very simple. Um, it's just, hey, this is a test and the actual API response. Hey, yes. All right. This is a test. So let's copy. Let's go to our VS code. I'm going to paste that code. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to you know, put some space here so we can understand things better. All right. So this open AI configuration that we are important, what I'm going to do is change this required. So this is why we change this type right here to module. All right. If you don't do that, this is going to give you an error. So I'm going to change it to import. And it's going to be instead of require, it's going to be from and let's remove this. And that's about it. So now that we have this, all I want to do is, for example, this is the prompt, which is what are you asking for to the AI? So let's see how we can get that response just to test it very quick, easy. So I'm going to create a function. So I'm going to do const get response this function can be whatever you want this is your function it's going to be equal to it's going to be an async all right and a function right here all right and now inside i'm going to put that so i'm going to put here inside all this and i'm going to console log that response all right, let's put some space so we can understand. We can see it better. And what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to just run that function. We need something very extremely important, which is this API key. So the API key right now, 
um, is in a env, which we need to create. So let's go ahead and do that. Right here, I'm gonna do dot env. And in here, we need to add the API key. I'm just gonna copy and paste it very quick. So right now, um, you can put whatever name you want here. This one is OpenAI API key equal to and your key. Keep in mind that this API key is secret. Do not share with anyone. I am sharing this with you, with you, but it's not gonna work. If you go ahead and put this key, it's not gonna work. I'm going to disable this key after this video, right? So I'm gonna save that. And there is something else that we need to do. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna import config from dot env. And when that's done, I can run that config. All right. So now that's done, this is gonna work. This process dot env dot open AI key. So this is the name. If you go to this file, you can see the name here and it's equal to all this, which is the secret API key. All right, I'm gonna save it. NPN run def. All right, and you can see there's a lot of data right here. Um, you can go through it. What we can do is I'm gonna change this to response.data. And let's do the same thing again, see what we get. NPN run def. Awesome, so now you can see the actual text, this is the AI responding. And it says, it's just um, giving us, this is indeed a test. That's perfect. Let's ask something else here instead of that. So let's say, give me a good name for a dog. Let's save it. Let's run it again. Fido, all right, that's actually a good name. Now I'm gonna ask for five names actually. Give me five names for a dog or for, yeah, for a dog, yeah. Run it again. All right, so now there is something weird going on, right? It says uh, number one, max, number two, and there's nothing else. This is because here in this configuration, you can see max tokens seven. So tokens, you can see tokens as, it can be words, space, characters. So if the max is seven, um, it's not gonna give us a lot. So I'm gonna change this to 100. That way it can give us more. So it's good that you can have the option to limit it just in case you want quick answers and that's all you want. All right, let's run it again. Nice, now you can see, you know, number one, Max, two, Bella, Charlie, Rocky, and, and Daisy. That's amazing. Now, I'm gonna just change this, change this a little bit. So let me put here, uh, you know what? Let's put text, something very, very simple. And what I'm gonna do, instead of all the string here, I'm gonna do text and I'm going to Put the text here instead. So give me a name for a cat in the get response function. Let's go run it. Fluffy, perfect. Um, let's ask something like a code. Give me JavaScript code to console, let's say something simple. Console log, hello world. Save. Let's run it. And there you go. Console log, hello world. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I just want, I don't want this whole array with all the objects. So you can go ahead and do data dot choices. And you can see it's an array. So we're gonna do zero and then text. That's all we want. That's the actual response. So let's save it. Let's run. And there you go. It's actually giving you only that. 
Don't worry about this. All this notice is just updating stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do the same. Give me five names for my cat. All right, let's run it again. And there you go. Fluffy, Simba, Tiger, Shadow, Smokey. Perfect. This is how you do it. As you can see, very simple. From now, of course, you don't want only, I'm using the terminal. Now the goal is to create some kind of quick application that people can write when press a button this function can run and maybe you can show the actual answer to anyone that's about it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye